Hey, I'm Paul with Rack Attack, and this is the Kuat Piston Pro Hitch Mounted Bicycle Carrier. Here we have it installed onto this vehicle that's equipped with the two inch receiver hitch, and we have two bicycles loaded. In this video, we'll go over how to assemble the rack, how this rack is constructed, and how to load and unload bikes, as well as show the security features that are included. Okay, the Kuat Piston Pro is packaged in a heavy-duty cardboard box with the plastic banding to ensure delivery in good condition. On the inside, you have all the individual components separated with dense foam packaging. Here we have an envelope which contains some buyer's information, including a card with a QR code uh, with a smartphone, you can access the video installation as well as different specs. Other cards have more details, including the serial number for the particular product. Okay, we'll breeze through some of the unpacking of the contents. And let's take a up close look at the stainless steel hitch lock that's included with the key matched Kuat keys for all the security on the rack. Now we'll organize some of these components. There are letter stickers to help keep those organized and to aid in assembly. First step in assembly is to insert the hitch base into the receiver. And here we have the patented flat lock anti-wobble with the security tool, we'll tighten that flat lock and also connect the security lock to the hitch. Here we have the security tool and the means to tightening the flat lock to provide an effective anti-wobble into the hitch. Next, we have the release lever for the platform. We'll install that. All the necessary tools are included for tightening the different fasteners. Now here you'll see the lettered stickers, A, B, C, and D, and those correspond to the tray components. And when you lay those out, they'll help to keep everything organized and ensure everything's assembled in the correct position on the rack. Next, we have the tabs for shipping. Those will be removed. And at this stage, it's possible to go ahead and press on the levers to extend out the arms, making attachment of the trays to the platform base more convenient. Now here we have a tab that's on the underside of the tray and that engages into a slot on the top side of the backbone of the platform making the initial steps of assembly very easy here we have the bolt that will slide through both of the tray units and a nylock nut to fasten that bolt tight a tool with a ball end is included in order to get that threading started easily and then you can revert back to the leverage end in order to fully tighten the trays to the platform.
And here we have the fully assembled Kuat Piston Pro. This rack is 98% metal construction with a steel hitch base and aluminum platform and arms. Overall weight is approximately 60 pounds. The fast fit wheel chocks adjust from 29 down to 18 inch diameter wheels with no tools required and can accommodate up to five inch wide tires. Okay, now we'll load up two bikes. And to do so, first we need to move the platform from the stowed position into the carrying position. And to do that, we can simply pull on this lever and bring that down. However, you do have another option here, which is where these four ridges are. You can press on that with your foot if need be, and it'll automatically click into that carrying position. Next, we can go ahead and extend out the support arms by just pressing on the release levers. And I'll grab the first bike, and this will happen to be a mountain bike. Now, this rack can accommodate mountain bikes all the way up to 29 inch wheel sizes and with wheel bases all the way up to 53 inches. And in general, it can hold bikes weighing all the way up to 67 pounds. So to secure the bicycle, I'll bring in those hoops and get a firm click. Make sure it's gripping and compressing that tire slightly to give it a good solid firm hold onto the bicycle. Next, we'll go ahead and load a road bike and same process, press on the levers I'll grab the road bike. Now, when it comes to loading a second bike, we can load that bike facing the opposite direction or it can be facing the same direction. All depends on if you have any interference between the bikes. So here I can have those bikes facing the same direction and I'll do the same thing. Pull the arm inward and compress against the tire until there's a firm grip against the, the tire. So if it means pulling simultaneously or one at a time, either way is fine until you get that good firm grip. Now here on this outer hoop, we do have the markers indicating the tire sizes that this rack can accommodate. So as we mentioned, 29 and 700C, and then it comes down to 26, 24, 20, and then there is a fender kit only size. So with a fender kit, you can carry bicycles with certain fenders installed. Okay, let's take a look at the cable that's included with the Kuat Piston Pro. Now, this is a 10 foot long braided steel cable. It's a half inch thick, so it's very heavy duty. Now, it's also non-coil cable, which means it's easier to get through spokes on a wheel or other intricate areas on a, on a bike that may, that a coiled cable could pose more of a challenge. So it easily goes through the wheels there. I'll take the lockdown end and get it around the two frames. Now, the concept here is we just run that lockdown point through the loop end of the cable, and then we lock it into the top lock port. Now that does use the same key that's used for the hitch lock. So to release, it's a spring, spring actuated release. So the key is required to unlock it, but not to lock it. So I'll show that again. To lock it, it inserts and locks. Okay, now when it's time to access the back of the vehicle, we can actually tilt down the entire platform to allow access to the rear hatch. And so to do that, what we can do is just pull on the lever. And while I'm pulling on the lever, I'm also lifting slightly on the platform just to take a little bit of pressure off of that. Then here I can actually hold the bikes slightly to guide the rack down. The bikes are on there strong enough to where I can use that almost like a handle. Now, with bikes in the tilted position, I can go ahead and open up the rear hatch. And here in this case, you can see there is no interference with the rear hatch. And that is the case with most vehicle hatch hitch clearance configurations. So the amount 
that the the platform extends from the back of the vehicle has been thoughtfully designed to work with the majority of vehicles where the hitch is flush with the fascia of the bumper as it is in this case. Now to return it back into position I can I'm grabbing the handlebars of one bike and the seat post of the other and just lifting it. So you don't necessarily have to lift from the rack and bend over that way you can use the bikes because again they're held in rigidly onto the rack itself. Okay, now I'll remove the bikes, but in this case, I'll do it in a slightly different way. I'll go ahead and remove the inside bike first, just to show that that's a, an available option. So I'll first get control of that bike, and then I'm gonna reach back behind and loosen that lever. Same thing here. And I can actually just roll this back bike towards me at the side and that allows an inside bike to be unloaded if need be. And then of course, you can also unload the other bike that quickly. Okay, well those are all the key features of the Kuat Piston Pro. This product and the full line of Kuat products are available at RackAttack.com. Please see the link in the video description for all your buying options. And if you have any questions or comments about this product in particular, feel free to leave those in the comment section below. And consider subscribing to our YouTube channel. We have over 2,000 rack-related videos and we upload new videos weekly. That's all for this one and thanks for watching.